that I have a Shein try on and haul and also a little mini Ulta haul. If you're interested in that kind of thing or like this kind of try on with Shein and stuff like that, definitely subscribe. I also have my social media down below. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I bought some of their more intimate things like a bra, some panties, some PJs to kind of see how they fit. And I definitely have some thoughts on them. First up is this brand Louvet and it has a lot of great reviews. That's what, how it's spelled Louvet. And I bought this bra that I need to find somebody to give it to because because it is not true to size. So this is what it looks like. It is a black bra. It's supposed to be really good for being a strapless bra or a multi-wear bra because you can adjust the straps or take them off. And it has these like little cups in here. Like um, it kind of has like kind of like that silicone kind of feeling, which is supposed to help the bra stay in place and not move. And that really drew me in because I hate that about strapless bras. If you have a good strapless bra that you know of, let me know down below. But I am always fighting with my strapless bra, like bringing it up and I hate that feeling. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We've all had one of those bras and I never find one that stays in its place. And I had really high expectations for this. I bought this at, it was $18 and I'm with the discount that I used, I paid $16 for it. I got size 80D, which is supposed to be a 36D. And I'm usually, I wear a 36 or 38C. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, size up a cup just in case. The size of this around the back is way smaller than what it says. It's not even 36. Even if you measured it, it's not 36. 36 is supposed to be the size around your back. And I'm usually, I usually go between a 36 and 38 depending on my weight. And so this does not even fit. It does not, it fits on the cup, but it doesn't fit like to be able to buckle it in the back because it's so tiny. To me, this is more of like a 34. And yeah, so that was a fail. Definitely um, size way up. I don't, I don't know, like, cause they don't have like anything above like, 38 so I don't I don't know what to think because even 38 would probably be a little bit too tight on me So the the sizes for this are super super off aside from being upset from the bra I did pick up the Louvet panties. They had like three like little packets of three and I am always in the search for comfort for a good brief that like just tucks everything in and covers everything and just makes me feel comfortable and so I saw these and they looked comfortable so I was like hmm let me jump on those and these are three for eleven dollars and three for twelve dollars and I will try to link everything down below but the first one that I'm going to show you guys is the Levette three pack sweet nothings cool touch hipster brief. I got these in extra large based on the measurements and it says comfy free joyful on the back and so it comes with three of them and it comes with like a cream color a light cream color and like a lavender color and what these look like are like what I absolutely love which are kind of like that big granny panty style I love that to me that's super super comfortable they are kind of like seamless where they don't have like thick seams the band itself is like not too tight but just tight enough where it's not going to move so i really like that and it's very comfortable it covers the full bum on the back side and just kind of keeps everything in it helps with my little pooch which i like as well the only thing with these is that the colors are so soft and light that they're almost transparent and um i did try one on for you guys if it's way too transparent on camera then i probably won't show it if you're seeing it that means that at least um, the one that I tried on <laughs> wasn't too transparent but they are in real life like super super transparent they do have cotton in the crotch area so we always want to keep that area nice and soft I like the fact that it has like their name right here in okay focus like a little raised kind of um, 
I don't know, like a little rubbery kind of consistency and it says Levet. So I thought that that was a cute little detail, but these are super, super comfy. I will give you updates down below if they ride up because that is something that I watch out for with some of these. When the material is really soft, they kind of like whoop, come in, but I will update you guys down below by the time I upload this and let you guys know if they ride up or not. Uh, definitely in my underwear kind of videos, if you ever see me like do a try on when I first get them, I usually try to update update you guys down below with any details in the down bar. So really nice and three for $11, like yes, but I actually paid $10 so I got a little discount. I always use coupon codes on Shein because they always have them available. The next set that I got is another set of three underwear. These were $12 and I got them for $10.98 with the coupon code. These are the Lovette three pack lace panel panties. And just from trying this on, I'm like, yes, they're so good. I also got these in extra large and look at this. They're like lace here in the sides. They hold up really nicely. This one just kind of feels a little bit more like tighter than the other three that I bought. Uh, this kind of just like brings in your body a little bit more but in a comfy way so they're not like constricting which I hate anything that constricts my body or just makes me feel like oh like I'm can't breathe so I really like this I really think that the pattern on here is super cute and it comes with black it comes with a like rose like an old rose and it comes with like a baby blue as well so I thought that these were so cute they are really nicely made and likewise the area for the um, like the bits the goodies <laughs> the, the crotch area is in cotton which we always want it to be because that way it keeps you nice and dry so these were super comfy and I mean, three for $11, that, that's a steal. So really enjoyed that these two were good. Sadly, the bra for me was a fail and it kind of makes me iffy as if I want to buy more bras from Louvet because now I can't trust really the sizes. And usually I go based on the measurements. Next two things are some PJs. I wanted to find like pajamas that are super cute but comfy at the same time. I'm always looking like a bum around my house. And my husband the other day was like, you know, you could buy some cute pajamas too, you know? And I was like, hmm, maybe I should go on Shein and see if they have something a little cuter so I don't look like someone beat me up and threw me inside my house. So this first set is super cute. It has like these little shorts. They have lace on the bottom and they have the cute little bow. They're black and white and they also come with a little cami. The cami is pretty see-through so that's just something to watch out for depending, you know, sometimes you, you're okay with it being see-through and depending if you have like bigger kids and stuff so you can definitely see on camera that it's very see-through sometimes what I do at night is that I'll wear um, underneath these are like my nursing bras I still have them because they're super comfortable especially the Medela ones that are just like uh, I, I love like bras like that where I can just like wear it and not feel constricted but anyway so a lot of times I wear that to sleep and so I could wear that underneath this to give myself like a little bit more coverage in front of my son but super cute set. I wish the shirts were a little bit longer because they are kind of on the shorter side, um, but super comfy. I like that the waist isn't constricted and I did get those in extra large. The next little pajama set that I also got was an extra large as well. This one is like little hearts and these are the bottoms. They're little shorts, very comfy. I like that the that the elastic on here isn't like that tight elastic. It's really stretchy and nice. And then the shirt is a cami. This one on the um, compared to the other one, the other one you can adjust the straps. With this one, it does have like a bra strap on there so you can adjust the cami um, to fit you a little bit more looser. But it is on the shorter side as well. So that's just something to watch out for with their uh, pajama sets. Like if you're somebody who wants to cover your belly, um, these are gonna be like right on that waistline or shorter 
shorter so that's just something to watch out for with purchasing and both of those were like eight dollars for the set so those are really nice and with using the coupon code I got them to be like less than one of them was seven dollars and the other one was nine dollars so um, really nice cute sets for being around the house and not looking like a total bum because <laughs> sometimes I'm just like all about comfort so I'll just wear like an oversized t-shirt with like oversized pajama pants and yeah I I feel like these are comfy but cute at the same time <laughs> next up are just some goodies that I actually I bought as well and first I wanted to try out this I'm not sure it's gonna work but it's a little avocado and it's so funny because I don't eat avocados but I thought that it was so cute it's a charger cover so it's supposed to protect your charger and these new iPhones like you have to buy everything separate now like the C cable and everything and they're so pricey so I really want to try to have it for as long as I can because they're so pricey so I thought that this was cute and I'm going to test it out and put it on my um, my cable and see if it works next up I found this um, Apple watch band and I thought it was super cute it's like metal but it's a, like holographic where it changes colors it reminds me of like my old Nikon phone is it Nikon yeah Nikon if you're from back in the day like me and had one of those like first phones, cell phones that was like hard case. I had the hard case that was like this, that was like that um, holographic kind of different color and it took me forever to buy it because it was pricey and then to change it. <laughs> It's so silly now, but but yeah, so the, when I saw this, I thought it was super cute and um, I really enjoyed it and it's metal. So we'll be using this with my Apple Watch and seeing how it goes. Next, I bought just a little box of clear uh, rubber bands for my hair to do different hair looks and also to um, tie my hair. It's really hard for me to find like small little rubber bands like this because I have such thin hair and I need like really small ones. So I went ahead and bought this little packet. And then the last thing that I got that came super late because Halloween is just like this week are these two scrunchies. One of them is like skulls, even though I will wear this all year round because I love skulls anyway. So I love this skull um, scrunchie. And then the other one has like bloodied hands, like like hand prints. I know like people are going to be judging me, but I'm really into like listening to Morbid, which is a murder podcast. And I love watching like Bailey Sarian, which like I would never obviously wish any death upon anyone, but I love Halloween and stuff like that. So it's kind of more like the aesthetic of it. Not that I encourage anyone to be hurting anyone else or anything like that. I just like the like the Halloween vibes to it. Anyway, so thought that those were super cute and like spooky things like that. So I thought that that was a um, a cute little duo. Next, I bought just a few things from Ulta. The main things that I got were, which I have to buy this every season. I, it's so funny because I'm filming this today and it's like the last week of, of October. But as soon as they launched this, mama needed it because I love peppermint. I love anything peppermint. When peppermint comes around every year, I'm just like, oh, peppermint is my jam. You know, like some people are pumpkin spice. Mama is peppermint. Okay, the doorbell rang. <laughs> but candy cane from Tree Hut. If you don't use Tree Hut, a Tree Hut is my jam. I have gone through so many of these because their body scrubs are life. Nothing compares to them. They have gone up in price because, you know, inflation, but they're around like 10 something at Ulta. You can still find them at Walmart a little bit cheaper, but the candy cane one, it's just life to me. If you love peppermint, if you love Christmas time, get you some. Ugh. So when I saw that they had them available this year, they only bring them out during this time of year. I went ahead and ordered it from Ulta. And then this year they brought out oh, candy cane whipped shea body butter. <laughs> And I said, add to car. <laughs> because if they were gonna do a body butter of the same smell of the scrub, I just needed it. And oh my God, it's so good. It's like a sugary candy cane smell. I just 
live for it. And look how thick this is. I just, I've never tried any of their body butters. I've tried like every single <laughs> kind of, um, what's it called, like flavor that they have or, or smell that they have for their body scrubs but I've never tried any of their, I swear, everybody wants to call me today when I'm filming, but I've never tried any of their body butters, but it feels just like super nice and just like moisturizing and just like sinks into your skin. And oh my God, this smell. I'm so happy that they have the body butter because I go through these scrubs like nobody's business. They just make my day in the shower, which I'm probably gonna buy like at least two more of the candy can cane smell before Christmas is done because this smell is just life to me. Okay, let me just stop. But it says that the body butter is long lasting, lightweight hydration. I'm just so happy that they have it in a body butter smell so I can just like cover my whole body in the smell. Yes, I'm that addicted to it. And then just to get free shipping, I needed things that were extra and I went ahead and got the about face shadow fix this is supposed to be really good for hooded eyes and because of my botox if you haven't seen my botox sorry i do have a smaller hood like smaller hooded eyes and the botox just made them more hooded and so i saw that a lot of people say that this is really really great for hooded eyes it just makes the eyeshadow not crease so if you're somebody with hooded eyes and you're looking for some something like that this is highly suggested on ulta for that that's people's reviews not my own and it's a little one like this and let's just see what the texture looks like you know what this kind of reminds me of the urban decay primer potion but a little bit more like not as drying as it which is nice so it does i just put a little bit here and you can see that it's almost transparent it, it looks like a cream color but it doesn't like dry cream We'll be testing this out. We'll let you guys know because I've been having so many issues since I started my Botox and got my Botox with shadows creasing, shadows that I never had a like issues creasing with because I used to be able to lift my eyebrows and like have my eyelid extended. But now because my eyes are so hooded, I am definitely gonna give this a go and see if it works. And then the last thing that I got is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I remember loving this for the longest time and just adoring this concealer and I got it in the shade natural and yeah I just wanted to retest it out it does have like a little brush tip I remember so many people raving about this and then I don't know what happened that people stopped talking about it but this one is like more of a peacher shade I remember that this is the shade that I used to use a ton and that's what it looks like um, so we'll see. I'm going to retest it out and see. I remember it being like all the hype and they had like a gazillion colors of this, like from super stark white to very, um, darker complexions to even like color correcting colors. So yeah, so I wanted to re see what the hype was about that I even had the hype about. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that is it for my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it. I'd love to have your support down below by subscribing and watching my videos if you're into my channel. And then I also have my social media down below if you're interested in following me over there. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <music>